Now at six, we are learning just how much damage a man caused when he scaled a cell phone tower in Miami. Please say the man was impersonating a worker when he climbed the 150 foot tower. That's 15 stories up. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us live from where it all happened. That's near Northwest 29th Street and 13th Avenue in Miami. Anna? Well, Elliot, Naja, you just cannot make this stuff up. And you see that tower behind me, like Naja mentioned, that is 150 feet. There are workers there now trying to restore these outages. And police tell us these repairs, they're going to be costly, estimating anywhere between 100,000 to half a million bucks. And witnesses say they were absolutely captivated as the man climbed this tower, comparing him to Spider-Man. It's the scene that captivated onlookers in Miami this morning. So you went all the way, all the way to the top, then you came down to the middle, then went back up, and every time it was just like disconnecting things. Nami Zandi owns a business on Northwest 29th Street, and as he was heading to work this morning, he watched in disbelief as a man climbed a cell phone tower nearby. The whole street was blocked, and then suddenly we see this person up there climbing and disconnecting cables. Police say 38-year-old Richard Smith started scaling a cell phone tower around 7 a.m., those watching comparing the man to this. Like a Spider-Man was dressed in black and, uh, and red also. Police say they received a call from a T-Mobile worker who told them Smith started climbing the cell phone tower. Smith told the actual T-Mobile worker that he worked for the company. Then Smith asked the worker to join him to enjoy the view. He tampered with the equipment up there. He threw things down. Um, he wasn't listening to officers' commands to, to come down. He was saying that I got a job to do. I got to finish my job. For four hours, police negotiated with Smith until he finally decided to come down around 11 a.m. I'm glad to see that he's absolutely getting down because now we can all, well, go home, if you will. Once he was down, he shook hands with every officer that was there and every firefighter that was there. It's still unclear why he climbed the tower, but those who spectated tell us they're glad it ended peacefully. And Smith is charged with burglary of an unoccupied structure and criminal mischief. A representative from T-Mobile tells us that overlapping coverage in the area will continue to ensure customers remain connected. But for now, reporting live in Miami, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.